With the 54th International Film Festival of India now past the halfway mark, one can hear delegates happily chatting about their experiences in and out of theatres. Yes, films can tell you stories that create memories for a lifetime. Runa Agarwal reports about the Midfest film at IFI 2023 that has already featured at the Busan, the Toronto, Sao Paulo and the Cannes Film Festivals. You know that the high point of the festival has arrived with the screening of the Midfest film. It's the one everyone scrambles to get tickets for and over the years, this slot has given us some of the finer moments of silver screen magic at IFI. This year's selection is Turkish film about dry grasses from acclaimed director Nuri Bilge Ceylan. Six of his films have been Turkey's submission for the Academy Award for Best International Film, including about dry grasses that we just watched. Mr. Jaylan, congratulations, thank you. You're one of the most acclaimed filmmakers around, not just in Turkey, but success seems to ride quite lightly on your shoulders. How has the IFI experience been? Uh, this is the first time that, that I come here. Actually, I came uh, India many times, but not in, in this area. I like India very much, and I like to shoot uh, portraits here also. It's a, there's an incredible richness of the human uh, faces here, I think. And the people are very uh, generous. Wonderful. I hope you have a good time. Um, could you tell us about the inspiration behind about dry grasses? I always wonder about the unexpected uh, side of the human nature. So I wanted to, through this uh, story, I thought I can investigate it with these three characters. Uh, actually, it all started with a diary of, uh, of a teacher. Uh, so uh, in, in this diary, I thought that uh, he told a very interesting thing about the human nature. He was very uh, honest, I think, when he writes. What do you like about the medium of cinema? Why is this your life's passion? You know, uh, it's the, I think, most, uh, the only thing I can do in life. Actually, I'm an engineer, but uh, I'm a neurotic person. So with cinema, you can um, make something which is... Uh, good for you, you know, uh, it's like therapy for me. I investigate my own problems maybe, but it's also good for others, maybe. <laughs> well, it's certainly been good for all those of us that were fortunate enough to watch that film yesterday. And I think for many students of film who are here and familiar with your body of work. So I wish you and the film all the very best and I hope we get to see more from you again. Thank you. Thank so you. Thank you. Meeting up with people who create cinema is a different experience altogether and Elroy Fernandez will testify to that. Your film talks about a fisherman and his estranged uh, trans daughter. Uh, it's a topic which is uh, very unique. So what was the inspiration for, the, uh, for making this movie? Well, the inspiration comes from a lot of parts. You know, the first is that in Santa Marta, my city is... is in the coast of the Caribbean Sea, but the fishermen in Santa Marta, they don't live, they don't live anymore cr uh, close to the ocean, close yeah. to the sea, because they were replaced okay. because of tourism, because of, of port. I don't know if in Goa happened, but in Santa Marta, the fishermen had to take a bus to go to fish okay. in order to fish because they were replaced from their ancestral uh, beaches. One of my grandfather. He used to be a fisherman, he used to be, live close to the ocean. And when I was young, he's always uh, telling the story about when he used to be close to the ocean. You know, it's like a big nostalgia uh, about that. Uh, there is one fisherman that he never left the, the island. He stayed there. It was like a legend. So one of my characters is biased in that fisherman that he, he, he stayed and he stayed till his death in the, in the island, in the fish. And for the other side, when I was at the university, I uh, made a documentary about the trans community okay. in Santa Marta. They were replaced from the city too, okay. because they don't fit with the tourism uh, landscape, yeah. you know. So we have 
the fishermen and the trans community, they are part of the places they don't fit in our city, you know. So my idea was to join these two communities that in the in a first in a first look they look at are very positive but in the deep there are something in common they were parias from their own city. And I use uh, the, the grouper, it's a big fish, you know and the, the, the character of the father, she's a grouper fisher. Uh -huh. Yeah, he, he died yes. with, without tank, without anything, and he fish a big, big, big fish. But the grouper is some, one of the few uh, fish animals that had a particularity that can change their, their sets. Yes. You know, because they are so lonely uh, animals. When they find each other in the in the ocean, if the, uh, the, the, the two are male, one has to change the sets oh. to be a female in, in order to be okay. reproducible. Yeah. And so something similar so happened with the daughter. It's a, it's a, it's a son, but he changed to be a, a daughter, I'm to so be a woman. Turkey has a great film culture, and there are many fabulous productions that come from this country that sits between Europe and Asia. Charlene Estubero watched and reviewed Mommy's Lambie. D5 into IFI and the Cinema of the World segment continues to captivate its audience. Mommy's Lambi, a Turkish film directed by Umut Evergen, tells the story of a 30-year-old man named Murat who is in prison and isn't able to shake off the bad memories of his past. Murat Akçada. At a young age, his parents separated from each other and tried to do everything within their power to turn their child against the other parent. His mom expected him to heal her past traumas while his father, married to another woman, wanted to make a man out of him at age seven with a circumcision festivity, a night supposedly organized for his joy, which became his hell. Not knowing the reason for his trial, Murat goes back and forth in a bittersweet limbo of different narratives from both his parents in the courtroom. He is to be punished for crimes he didn't commit and can't seem to ease the pains which he has no cure for. The courtroom transforms into a battlefield where all sides clash with one another. Murat dives into this battlefield head first. He grabs a pistol from a police officer and finally kills the person who ruined his life. This film leaves you with a difficult question. Was Murat the victim of an elaborate setup again? Or will he be able to rid himself from this burden handed down for generations? We recently celebrated World Television Day and the fact that Didi Goa is now on the Tata Play platform is breaking news. Sunil Bhatia, Deputy Director General, spoke to Shubhi Varadkar. So, we want to give you all the support and your whole team because now it's been joined with DD Goa and Tata Sky. So, what do you want to say about this? How was it? 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 How difficult was it? And how easy was it for everyone to listen in to? Thank you very much. To join Tata Sky, it's very good because our DD Goa will grow up with it. Because in Goa, we have seen that the maximum subscription of Tata Sky has been given to us. And we have a demand for our DD Goa that we are not able to watch your programs. We are not able to watch your programs because we don't have any other DTH channel. So, when we felt that we should be on Tata Sky, we approached them through various sources, directly, indirectly. And in March 23, when the Honorable Minister came and he said that you increase your content, increase your reach, so we have our content in March, the original content here in Goa, we have increased about 33% and then we have approached the approach to Tata Sky that now we are available for more hours and we have more content. So they said that we will try to rope DD Goa on our platform. और उसके बाद for the last one and a half year we have been doing various interesting content especially we are covering more sports and entertainment so that also facilitated our entry into DD Go Tata Sky so अभी जो है recently we got करीब 15-20 दिन पहले we got some news कि Tata Sky is ready to rope DD Go on their platform so then we were happy and now with this responsibility we will try to make our content more rich so that it can entertain the people of Goa and other uh, living in the other part of the country. Uh, a few days ago, hum, uh, we celebrated World Television Day. So, what do you want to message to our viewers? So, 
आई वॉन्ट टू से दैम कि चाहे जितने मीडियम आ जाए बिकॉज नाउ वी हैव सोशल मीडिया जिस पर हमारा जो है सब कुछ अवेलेबल है बट स्टिल वॉचिंग टेलीविजन इन सिटिंग इन योर ड्राइंग रूम और लिसनिंग रेडियो इन योर कार दैट गिवस यू डिफरेंट प्लेजर सो टू प्लीज कंटिन्यू वॉचिंग टेलीविजन थैंक यू वेरी मच जी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपका और ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर इफी थैंक यू सो मैनी कंट्रीज अराउंड द वर्ल्ड गेन इंडिपेंडेंस पोस्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर टू Lushan Sequeiro Fernandes brings you a story from Morocco set in the middle of the 20th century directed by Abdul Hai Laraki who belongs to a new wave of Moroccan filmmakers this story also brings to light the terrible times families had to endure during the last days of French colonization <laughs> best parts in the movie is this 11 year old boy kamal who is infatuated with aicha a girl who is much older to him both of them experience the reality of war together it was finally in the summer of 55 in north africa that the citizens of morocco finally saw the light of freedom i was happy to meet the director and producer of the film that was well received by the audience you've done a lot of movies with social causes but this movie uh, is a struggle of freedom that you have experienced as a young boy surely it has had a great impact on your life yes yes there is one part in the in the movie when i was young i was 5 five, 5 five years old and uh, the the king of morocco was taken out by french Uh, colonialism to madagascar and uh, all the people moroccan people have seen him in the in the in the moon and i was young 5 years old and everybody say look he's in the moon he's in the moon and i take my mother like this mama mama i don't see him where is he <laughs> my mother say if he is in your heart you are you'll see it and i do this scene in the movie the the i do it exactly the same so there is some part of that boy i i have the same in my life and it was very very emotional for me very well shown and i would like to ask you in all this unrest in the movie there's this platonic love between a young boy and a little older girl can you share your thoughts on that yeah uh actually there is no um preconception of uh, violence in th- this this boy is innocent actually is innocent like each of us we are innocent in this world we we, we hear about conflict we hear about the darkest time right now in gaza and, but we 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 are basically from the beginning innocent and then people try to get you in one side or the other but the basic thing, as a child you feel what is uh, what is uh, lawful what is good and what is beautiful this is the true value and that's what i think it was very important for the director it's to show that uh, uh this, this, this the importance of of love uh not just as something uh, you know seductive but as a as a vector of of uh, evolution With 20 years of ifi in India's sunny state, Goa's young filmmakers are absolutely on a roll. Priti Soiru met one of them. Me congratulations to your film Sada Bahar. Select the ifi khatir. Maka sang red carpet achir eyes tumka yo pazo ho yoga sa ani tumka ya Sada Bahar film achir thode kire asham ka sahush. Hi. So. हि फिल्म हमें फाटल वर्सा शूट के लिए एक ग्रांट आशि नेटफ्लिक्स सो so, तीन तो ग्रांट मेन थीम आश्ल कि होम या टॉपिक एक फिल्म करप सो so, हाँ जेना होम हो टॉपिक माका कसो आवड़ा और हाउ डू आई इंटरप्रिटेड अक्षर आ कि ज्यादा लोग होम हि कॉन्सेप्ट 
ती सुविधा ना तांच्या खातीर कितें आसतलें आणि मागीर म्हाका असं दिसलें की आमच्या गोंयान जे खुबशे लोक भायले येऊन हांगा काम करता ते स्वता हांगा एक आपले घर करता जरी तांची घरां एक्च्युली आनी खंय आसली तांच्या खातीर घराची आयडिया कितें सो हो थॉट घेवन हांवें फुडें मागीर म्हणलें की म्हाका बँड मेंबराची आयडिया आयली सो मागीर म्हणलें वाय डोंट वी एक्सप्लोर दीस एज अ टॉपीक म्हणून हांवें ते मागीर एक्सप्लोर करपाक घेतलें आणि ती फिल्म जशी जाली आणि इफ यू रेड कार्पेट मीन्स एवरीथिंग फॉर अस गोवन फिल्म बिकॉज आम्ही सगळे हांगा वाढले आम्ही पयला हांव पणजेचो सो हांवें पयला इफ यू कशें आसता ते अँड हळूहळू करून म्हणजे पयली एक दा शॉर्ट फिल्म गोवन सेक्शनान आशिल्ली आणि आता टू कम इन इंडियन पॅनोरामा दीस इज द हायेस्ट यू कॅन गेट सो ताज्या खातीर खूप बरें दिसता आणि इट वील बी इवन बेटर बिकॉज आमची गोयची फिल्म आसा आणि आमच्या गोयच्या लोकांक एक रेड कार्पेट चलून भितर वचपाचो एक जोड आमकां एक ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी मेळटा तें बरें दिसता सो ह्या फिल्मान तुझो एक्सपिरियन्स कसो आशिल्लो फिल्माचो एक्सपिरियन्स म्हजो खूपच इंट्रस्टींग हाज्या खातीर आशिल्लो की आमचो मेजॉरिटी क्रू म्हणजे इट वॉज फ्रॉम गोवा सो ताज्या खातीर कितें जाता की आमच्या लोकांक एक ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी मेळटा कितें तरी येऊन बरोबर करपाक बिकॉज टॅलंट खूब आसा पूण ते टॅलंट एक्सप्लोर करून तांकां चान्स दिवपाक जी ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी मेळी म्हाका आणि म्हाका शिक जेणे की गोंयान कितले लोक आसा तांच्या बरोबर आम्ही काम करून कितें करूंक शकता सो दॅट वॉज माय बिगेस्ट लर्निंग आणि तो एक कॉन्फिडन्स मेळटा की हाज्या फुडें जर म्हाका आता गोंयान फिल्म करपाक जाय जर आय नो की म्हजे कडेन एक रिसोर्स आसा म्हजे कडेन एक फ्रेटर्निटी आसा जांचे हांव डिपेंड रावंक शकता म्हजी फिल्म करपाक सो दॅट वॉज माय बिगेस्ट लर्निंग ह्या फिल्मांतल्यान सदाबार फिल्मांतल्यान तुम्ही गोंयकारांक किंवा जे प्रेक्षक आसा म्हणजे तांकां कितें संदेश दिवंक सोदता म्हाका एक फक्त एक एक फिलींग आनी एक एक्सपिरियन्सा बद्दल उलोवपाचे आशिल्ले की जे आमी म्हणटात की तो भायले आणि आमी भितरले आणि किंवा हे जे आम्ही लाईन्स ड्रॉ करता इनविजिबल लाईन्स ड्रॉ करता आम्ही ते इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी अँड बँड मेंबर करपाचो मेन हेतू म्हणल्यार इट इज थ्रू द लँग्वेज ऑफ म्युझिक दॅट दे कॅन कम्युनिकेट विथ इच अदर म्हणजे म्युझिक इज युनिवर्सल ताका आम्ही तू गोयचो आणि तू भायलो अशा काय तुम्ही बंधन लावंक शकना सो म्हजो संदेश न्ही बट आय वूड लाईक इन अ वर्ल्ड वेअर देर आर नो बाउंड्रीज अशे आणि आम्ही सगळे जण एकमेकांक वी कॅन सी इच अदर एज अ ह्युमन्स दॅट वी आर खूब बरें सांगलें आणि हो आशिल्लो आमच्या बरोबर सुयश कामत डायरेक्टर ऑफ फिल्म सदा बहार ऑल द बेस्ट हय आणि देव बरे करू थँक्यू शुभी वराडकर इज वन ऑफ अ कॉरेस्पॉन्डंट हू हॅज मेड द रेड कापट हर व्हेरी ओन Here she is with one more of our amazing film personality. Disha Bharadwaj who's the director of a short film called Chupi Raho. That's a very interesting film and first and foremost welcome to Doordarshan Goa. Thank you thank you so much. So uh could you tell us a little bit about the film whilst we understand and know what it is there are lots of viewers who don't know broadly the storyline so a small insight. Okay so uh it's it's a film uh set in the lower Himalayas since I'm uh, from Himachal it's a pahadi film. It's about a family of three people a uh, father mother and a son who are each dealing with their own issues every day and they're just you know trying to get by so it's just 24 hours in their lives i hope people watch it and like it yes that's an interesting topic and worth the watch surely so as a director uh, being a lady is uh, always kind of challenging and uh, to add to it i guess you've taken in a film that is done in the pahad so how challenging was it for you to uh, roll your film and finish this filming in the mountains uh it was uh <laughs> it was quite overwhelming to be very honest uh, a logistical nightmare i have been actually saying it was since uh, it's very difficult to shoot in you know the mountains there are barely any people who deal with the equipments or operators are there so uh i did the casting locally i was it was most of like one woman production running before uh, we before the film went on the floor for shoot uh but i had you know a uh, great support system my parents they helped out my friends they helped out it was a wonderful collaboration of people who just purely did it for the love of cinema the competition section at the festival will decide which film takes away the golden peacock Orina was peeped into the Bosnian pot. Mr. Pavo, welcome to Goa. Thank you very much. I am very happy I'm here and very glad for the invite and thankful for the invitation and the chance to present my film here. Uh Mr. Farooq Sego in the movie, the protagonist is somewhat all of us, you know, with unfulfilled ambitions and dreams. Yeah, I use usually imperfect uh protagonist, the guy with the failures, you know, he's uh, but he has to be nice somehow. You know, he makes mistakes but audience has to have to la- like him because he has something human which everybody which is uh, connects to the audience. So I, it was always actually my um, 
ambition to have these imperfect protagonists, the, the man in Middle Ages with a lot of <laughs> failures, but somehow likable. Yes, and he touched a chord in all of us. That's why uh, that movie was so likable. And uh, also this is a biographical film on self-discovery. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, actually, I was in, in Sarajevo <laughs> when the film premiered. They told me, you know, of course, Faruk Shego is not Pava Marinkovic, but a lot of the things this character had to live through, I personally experienced. So I would say it was my more, per the most personal film I made. It was uh, not an easy film to make. It was uh, everything looks like easy, charming, and going, but but it was a very very tough call for the fina financiers. It's actually first Croatian Austrian co-production ever. So we are neighboring countries. We don't do these things. Mm to address also the Austrian audience to have Bosnian protagonist as a likable guy, which is, you know, it is not uh, like a common... It, it, this film was not, not a common film, not a common way, but yes, it, I did it. It's two strong autobiographical elements. I was living as a young author in Austria and I lost my self-confidence. That's new, uh, new territory. I came as a young, promising writer and after three, four years, I was a card player uh, who, who lost, I think, lost my all the talents I thought I lost. And the other thing is... But you found it in the end. Yeah, I, I tried to find it through life, but I, I understand what happens to this guy. Yes. Because if you don't know how easily you can lose the talent you have through some, I would not say hostile environment, but in time environment which doesn't give you a chance, that treats you differently. Yes. It's so easy to, to, to lose self-confidence. And that happened to me in, in, in one part of my life and then happened to this guy. Yes. And also these things with, with losing the residence permits is autobiographical. And also autobiographical is, I had once a theater play, which had to be premiered in Zagreb. It is some kind of co-production and the mix pool broke. And something the like something like the, no, no, they were the not movie. they were not burning the schnapps, yeah. but brandy, but uh, something like this. And actually, the actors wanted to play it without with the natural light. And for me, as a writer, it was a disaster. I never got so bad critics. So, with the sun having set in this side of the world, I'm Savio Narona signing off on day five of screenings at the 54th International Film Festival of India in Goa. It's goodbye and good night.